here's a fun video here so basically the snap ring or the c-clip as some people call it got a little bent out of shape from me switching the stock gears out this is the 1238 so here's the the ludicrous gear setup right 1436 so removing the stock gears putting the ludicrous gears on this and that i got the um original snap ring a little bent out of shape so just recently at a hardware store i found some some of these c-clips some of these snap rings come to find out it's not the same size it's a little off so what happened was um it had slipped off and when you hear like a like a grinding noise when the gears sound a little louder than they should or than they normally do that's an indicator that the snap ring has come off and it's usually it's going to be trapped in here right so i found it um so anyway what i'm gonna do since i don't have the right size you know replacement i'm gonna try to continue using the original one that it came with here's the the tool basically so you squeeze you get the two eyelets one each one in each point and for, well, for this the way it's set now to pull it closed then it'll close the ring but to take it off you just flip it here now it's going to reverse it so when i pull it close it's going to open it it's going to expand so what i did to get this back in shape is um i just been squeezing it here back together squeezing it back together but what I would do is kind of go on the outside of it with the tool so that I can pull it together even further more so than I could with a point so what I was doing is kind of letting this overlap so it could close even further so right here it's kind of overlapping a little bit and then I would, it's overlapping a little bit and then i would keep pulling it to make it shut even more so i want to kind of get this close together where there's no gap between them yeah there that's pretty nice there pretty good i still need to open it to get it on but i like the stock gear setup better and i i did this a long time ago tested the ludicrous gears then i put the stock gears back on i done that a long time ago but what I, like i was saying i noticed the noise coming from the gear so i kind of thought that the snap ring might have came off and it did yeah i like that for now and then i like squeezing this and it opening or closing the, the the snap ring so i will just switch this back so that when now it's together when i squeeze it it will expand the snap ring and i can put it on the the motor drive here yeah see that's pretty solid so this is the original one and this is the new one that i tried to use See, I noticed with this tool also that the points are not exactly lined up. So I would let this close, let this close and then let me put it against here. I usually hold it with my thumb. Yeah, there, that's pretty good. Yeah, it won't come off. 1238. That's the gear setup. Here we 
be good to go now. So you see these tools I'm using here. When I um, when I loosen all of these three millimeter bolts, which only has to be done, I'll say about a half an inch, not even that. Because from here, it just comes right off. You just loosen it a little bit. After I've loosened all six, three top, three bottom, I just use this wrench as a mallet. Just to lightly tap it. So when I loosen all six, I'll just do that and shake this loose and slide it out. Same with the wheel, actually. When I take off the bolt, I just kind of tap this to help it get come loose and come off. Yeah, I have, um, I am wearing gloves. I have a lot of gloves. And it's not... It's not that I don't want to touch this with my bare hands. It's that I don't want the grease all over my hands where I got to wash my hands thoroughly after this. So I'll change it again before I touch the tools. Otherwise, the tools will get grease all over them. And then, yeah. So it was actually the left, in fact, this wheel that was making um, more noise than the right kind of a uh, grinding noise. Because the snap ring had come off. That should be it. But I do like the stock gear setup better. Because with the ludicrous gears, okay, I'm gonna say that the acceleration changed, the top speed changed, hill climbing um, gradient capabilities, all of that changed when I switched to the ludicrous gear setup. So um, after that little test ride, I decided that I like the stock setup better. is hilarious. I need to get on it and try it out. Other e-boarder coming here. I'll talk to my friend. How are you my friend? Nice board. Wild go, it's a wild go. Let me try to hit some some hills with this. I'm not sure about the gear setup. So here's the thing guys I would like to trust my own judgment on this because I've been riding this board stock since I got it. Okay, the stock helical gears have, the motor ring has 12 teeth. And the larger ring has 38 teeth, right? This ludicrous gear setup. So the, the motor ring, motor teeth is, there's 14 teeth on that ring and the larger ring has 36. But I really, I swear that the board had more power, more torque with the stock gear setup. With the 1238 setup versus this 1436. I don't know. Let me do some hills. It just feels different. Of course, in third gear, it's crazy powerful, crazy torque, right? But I never use third gear with the other set up so pretty nice size hill nice inclination over here 
I'm gonna see if I can get up it with the uh, ludicrous gears. I could get up this, no problem, second gear with the stock setup on the board. I can do this no problem. I can do this hill no problem with the with the stock gear setup. Wow, man. For me, I, I like the stock gear setup actually. Yeah, I've ridden this thing a lot with the old gear setup and I was hoping I could tell the difference from the feel of the board and I can. And like the acceleration is slower now with the ludicrous setup. I don't wanna say anything bad about it. For me, uh, the stock setup works for me. Yeah, I couldn't even get up some hills that I could normally get up, even in third gear. My ripper over here, is she playing? 